How's it going everyone and welcome back to Lawbeck Luxury Cars Friday Drive. Today we have the beautiful 488 Pista. We're going to start with the exterior and I do want to make two very, very key points between the difference between the 488 GTB and then the Pista. Firstly, the aerodynamics, you'll be able to notice it as we go around the car. Secondly, the weight. They've saved so much weight on this thing, nearly 60 kilograms with 50 more horsepower. This car in comparison is night and day. Even though they're similar in nature, they're actually very, very different. Now looking at the front end, that beautiful Ferrari front that's sloped vent at the front as the airflow goes all the way over the front of the car and then these little accents here all in carbon fiber you can seal through here and then all through the side around the wheels and all the way down the side of the car it means that this thing has got more aerodynamics and more downforce than the previous gtb coming over to the side we've got the angular front headlights i love and then you've got the carbon ceramic brakes the yellow calipers a good spec in my opinion but same thing braking performance on this car as well is is incredible for the type of car it is and as we come all the way around on the side it's the same thing all this is in carbon fiber even though it's a little bit wrapped the venting up through here through to the rear wheels also carbon fiber all the way around to the back of the car now carbon fiber rear diffuser we've got titanium exhaust tips carbon fiber all through here and then in the engine bay you can see how much carbon fiber is in this thing and it's that lightweight element to the pista that makes it so impressive and it's not just the 50 horsepower but that 90 kilos of weight saving goes such a long way for the handling of a car like this and for the top speed as well from about 205 to about 211 miles per hour now i wanted to open this engine bay up because i actually think a closer look at all the elements of the three 0.9 liter V8 is super, super impressive. Now, like we said before, the weight saving all through here, all this carbon fiber, that tactile carbon fiber, you can feel all the way through the engine bay on top, even on the on the actual engine mounts up here, all carbon fiber. You can see that signification for 48 Pista, it's pretty cool, but it hides the engine, but you can see a lot of it as well. But that weight saving, oh, I'm gonna come back to it again when we go through the interior and the way the car probably handles as well. I've driven a few of these cars and the difference is actually so, so impressive. And that's why I love these things. And the engine bay is a really good example of that how much weight they've saved, the amount of power this thing can output, and the attention to detail that's made through the car like this is, is so, so impressive. So we're in the interior of the car now, and even just looking around us, you can see how much weight has been saved. Carbon fiber all through the steering wheel, carbon fiber all through the door panel, the whole thing, and even to open and close the door, They've saved weight, they've saved space, and now you just have the little handle here rather than a proper a proper door handle. And then just to open the door, you can see the attention to detail all the way through there. And I feel like the door's a little bit lighter as well. The seats, streamlined, You've got the sport seats, but also they're on the runner up and back rather than the electric seat that the 488 GTB has. We've got runners because it's saving weight, it's saving space. Same through all the dash, carbon fiber everywhere. And then even through the floor mats, you can feel underneath the floor mat you can basically just there's just like a, a panel and then you've got the floor of the car and all through the door sills on the side here as well carbon fiber everywhere like it's such an impressive environment to be in and i think the interior of it even through the display panel here with the launch and the auto and the reverse button the whole thing is just carbon fiber uh, and that goes to like 90 kilos to save out of a car is seriously impressive and you can visibly see the changes which I think is really really impressive. I'm going to open the front of this now and we're just going to have a little look and first of all another element that's on top of the package here full carbon fiber front end on the top here which again it's it was so lightweight if it didn't have the hydraulic system i could just play i could almost take it off and throw it it's that light and i want you to have a look at the the options list here you can see how much carbon extras there are we've got carbon fiber front flaps side air splitter engine covers in carbon fiber rear diffuser in carbon fiber there's so many elements there that make up what this car is. And they're, they're optional extras. They're not even on the standard car. This has been optioned as highly as you can get. And it, that plate that we always see in our Ferraris, that options list is so extensive. It's so, so impressive and super lightweight. Let's talk a little bit about 
a couple of the comparisons, and I've got a list that I found that I think is really, really fascinating to go into once we've kind of stopped. We spoke about the weight, 90 kilos lighter than the 488 GTB. I always find the way that manufacturers progress with their iterations of vehicles quite impressive. And I think for a car that was already high performance, super lightweight, to, to, to take off 90 kilos off of nearly the same car is super, super impressive. Then couple that with an extra 60 brake horsepower. You're looking at a car that is so much more capable. And to a point, I was doing a bit of research before this and I saw a stat that said that the 488 GTB in comparison to this is 1.5 seconds slower. So this goes 1.5 seconds faster around the Fiorano test track in Italy where Ferrari do all their testing for all their cars, Formula One cars, road cars. 1.5 seconds on a minute 10 lap is massive. It's such a huge margin. And to another point, on the same statistic, it said that the 488 Pista that we're driving now is 21 seconds faster around the Nordschleife. And I guess go back, go back to that point of, in some ways it is exactly the same car but in so many ways it is completely, completely different. Sure, they look the same and the general feel inside is very similar, but the lightweight nature, the, the weight saving, the extra power that they've got out of the same 3.9 liter V8 engine is so, so impressive. And that doesn't just translate onto the feeling I have on the road or the statistics, but to the point of, as a professional driver is driving around a circuit that they do all their testing at, that gap is huge. And I didn't think it was gonna be as big as it was, to be honest with you. Oh, I knew it was gonna be faster, of course, but it surprised me a little bit as to how much faster. And I think that goes to show how incredibly impressive this car really is. Another one of the comparisons that we, we have is that 488 GTB has 660 horsepower. We've got 710. So zero to 100 now is at around 2.7 seconds for a car like this and even as I'm driving it I've been lucky enough to drive one on on the circuit as well as the the 488 but even in comparison in my opinion to the 296 GTB now obviously they haven't released a, a racing spec version which given that they have a GT3 car I'm sure they will release at some point but even in comparison to the GTB the new 296 brand new car yes this doesn't have the hybrid power this is the most powerful V8 that Ferrari have ever have made at 710 horsepower. But the comparison in between the way it drives, you can tell that the 488 GTB and the 296 GTB, even though it's a much higher spec car, it's a newer car, this car was built for performance. This car was built with Formula One technology in mind and the aerodynamics and all the other elements, you know, the lack of a hybrid system. Look, the 296 GTB is a fantastic car. And same thing, I've been lucky enough to have driven it on the circuit quite a few times. And its delivery of power is extremely impressive because of that hybrid that the car has. But at the same time, this car, the way it handles, the way you can just deliver the, the power, you, the way you can throw the car into the corner and it just sticks better than you really expect it to as well. And it's one of those things that Ferrari have always been really, really good at that special edition type of car like this is. How often do you really see them? And even on Ferrari Cavalcade events, you'd only have a few, a handful of those cars. They're filled with maybe a Roma or, you know, the new Paris Sangway maybe, and a heap of 488s or 296s, but the Pista, as soon as it turns up, people start to look properly, and it's such an impressive car that I feel privileged to get the opportunity to drive it around the roads, because normally it's, at an event or you know doing other things rather than uh, the opportunity to actually drive it drive it properly the way it was intended in some ways for the consumer to to get an, uh, that experience and i very rarely get that with ferrari another point to, to add to that is the top speed so we're going from 335 kilometers an hour to 344 so we need to go in 10k an hour quicker even though we have more aerodynamics built into the car, where the rear wing on the back is a little bit bigger, the, the vents coming through the front end, through the side panels up to the wheels, they all make a difference in how top speed is, is generated. That's why the 296 is warp speed, because it's so slippery through the air with the hybrid power that it doesn't get slowed up at that terminal at high speed velocity in the way that a car like the Pista does. 
but that's why it becomes so much more impressive. And that those additions of the, the lightweight carbon fiber being used more often in, in so many elements of the car, as well as that extra power output, you know, of nearly 50 horsepower is, is, is incredible. And it's those elements, that mixture of technology, raw speed, power, handling, there's so many elements to it. And then you think about the carbon ceramic brakes that the car has, that the stopping power of this thing is so, so impressive. And the more I'm driving it, the more, of course I'm enjoying it, but you marvel at the, the work and effort and energy and time and money that got put into creating this absolute piece of art and I've always been a bit of a Ferrari fan historically we've spoken about it before in some of the other videos the the history the prestige there's just something about a car like this that just brings a smile to your face when you see it you hear it and luckily for me I get the chance to drive it and it's one of those things that you just feel lucky to get the opportunity and you look around the cabin environment you feel the steering wheel and how the car handles and behaves and you just want to keep going and if, if I could just drive this all day I would but unfortunately I can't it's such a such a special thing and the small details are so impressive and I'm just loving it I'm just going through a, a long left-hander and I've just kept turning through there at 60 k's an hour and I'm going too fast but just grips to the road so nicely and the more I fed the wheel into the car the more it just kept hooking and hooking and hooking and that was such a nice feeling. You don't get the opportunity on a road drive that often. One thing I want to note, we're about to go over a speed bump here. The use of the front lift kit on this car means that I can go over it without any trouble and then just press the button on my left-hand side here and it's just gonna click into gear and it's done. And we're gonna come up to another one now, just heading towards the beach in, in Melbourne and just press the button, front lift coming up, and there's, we're on a road that it, I can't angle myself either. And I think that's really important to note that you have that availability, which I think in a car like this is a weight lifted off the shoulders a lot of the time. Thanks again for watching our Friday drives. The Pista is such an impressive car and I've had so much fun driving it, but the level of detail and extra effort that's gone into making this vehicle is so, so impressive. And it's everything I love about Ferraris. They're so much fun, they're enjoyable. They are just so brilliant. I just love them. And as always, like and subscribe to our channel, follow along. If there's a car that you see on our website that you'd like us to Friday drive, let us know. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video of our Lorbeck Friday Drives. I am a, a racing driver. Oh.